a company out of Oklahoma is producing for $1,000 bulletproof blankets for kids to use in schools because of this insane amount of school shootings. Of course, we had another one yesterday. It just never stops. There was one the week before. Uh, we've got some images of the blankets. Uh, so yeah, a thousand bucks. It can protect against 90% of the weapons that have been used in school shootings in the United States. There were 13 school shootings in the U.S. the first six weeks of 2014. Uh, we, we're now four months past that. Um, so I guess first, is this just inevitable that every kid is going to be going to school with a, a bulletproof blanket? I don't even have words for how appalling the idea that we now have to Kevlar our kids' blankets in sure. schools because, God forbid, we do any tiny, tiny thing about guns in this country. Instead, no, we all have to walk around with bulletproof vests. Yeah. That's the answer? I, 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 I can't even. I mean, I definitely think they're a good idea. You know, I mean, they, they're attempting to solve... They're attempting to put out the smoke rather than put out the fire, right. you know, for lack of a better ex uh, expression. But um, because it doesn't look like gun reform is happening anytime soon in this country, and people were actually dying, you know, I mean, there was just a, another shooting uh, that occurred, you know, yesterday. Um, I think that to have those in schools would be a, a positive thing, and the and the bulletproof doors that they've been experimenting right, with. Right, but too. isn't it all a little bit of sort of fake protection? Because the idea that the kid would be, you know, when this would happen, I assume they don't keep them on them all the time, or probably even under their desk. That you know, you mean by the time you were able to get it out of the closet or something, mm -hmm. the, the bad stuff has already happened. So yeah. a lot of this is just sort of just. I don't know, is it, is it fakery for the parents' message minds? message is, is it telling kids, oh, so by that, the way, you could get shot at any <laughs> moment, so do keep this handy. Yeah, you know? so, so that's the part that I think is the most interesting. Do you think that, we, that the real bad part of this is the conditioning, that all these kids are going to grow up thinking that this is just really part of the way life is, even though I, I guess it is at some level. But well, I, I think that you have to adapt to the times. Like I went to high school, or I should say elementary school in Manhattan, and we I remember growing up we had drills where we would have to get under the desks in case there was a like a nuclear attack or something like that. You and grew up in the 50s? No, there was no, there was, cover? Yeah. There was, no, there was, I remember there was, you had to get under the desks and brace yourself for some kind of like attack or something like that in the 80s. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this was like in New York, and obviously I don't think that that uh, applies today, but today we have this very real and present, you know, danger of, of school shootings and stuff. And Something so. I read online this week that I thought was interesting was that one of the great semantic sort of, you know, twists of, of recent years is that we keep calling these shootings, and nobody ever calls them murders, and that if we called them murders, maybe we would take them more seriously, but shootings just sort of seems more innocuous, and, that, and that's allowed us to kind of process this in a daily basis, that it's constantly happening, and we aren't more appalled by them. Yeah, is that the other scary part here, is that, so when I saw the shooting yesterday, I don't even remember where it was. Where was it? Because this happens constantly. Was, where, where was, was the it in Oregon? Oh, but you, right. It was yeah. in Oregon, on, and I guess the shooter and one other and it was student. The guy were in killed. North Hollywood a couple days ago. Co right. And then what was the one last week? Uh, last week was in uh, Santa Barbara, yeah. right? Yeah. Or was that a week and a half ago? Um, but what I think is happening, and this goes to the conditioning part, is when I see on Twitter there's a shooting, now it doesn't even phase me for a split second. It's horrible. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, another one. Like, mm. And that, to me, is the scary part. So are we just becoming Somalia. more and more? Yeah, I mean, are we just becoming more and more OK with this? So, so this is something, these blankets, even if it's not real protection? I, also, your flanks are completely exposed on those things. You know? Yeah, I mean, if the guy wants to get you, he's yeah. going to get you. Like, you need a dome, at least, so or do, something, like a big turtle shell. You should get into that business. I, yeah, what are you doing in the movie yeah, review yeah. business? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm going to get on the phone now. I mean, if they save one life, you know, like, that's a, that's that, a, it's a great initiative. Yeah. Um, so if we can't change the gun laws, which it seems like uh, we can't seem to do since we couldn't get anything passed after uh, Newtown Hook. and Sandy Hook, um, if we can't do that, then what, what should we be tackling? Should we be tackling mental health more? Because it seems to me there's a lot. Has, this has a lot to do with mental health and prescription drugs. Yeah, well, Nobody wants to talk about that. As the president said yesterday, though, we, there, we, there's mentally, health, uh, mentally ill people all over the world. And there are violent video games all over the world. And there are frustrated single guys all over the world. This is the country where all those people get guns. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and if video games cause violence, as I say every time, I'd be an Italian plumber eating mushrooms, jumping on turtles. And I am <laughs> eating mushrooms, but that has say. nothing to do with the video game. <laughs>